Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this show, may I ask? So I tell you, the accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Jane Lee Miller. But before that, I would like to say thank you for watching the show live at a later date as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use angelic Reiki, future life progression, past life regression, meditation, angel cards, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny. I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading. With the wisdom of my wonderful guest, like today's guest, Jane Lee Miller, who will be imparting her wisdom about how by doing the things you are passionate about, you can live your perfect life with a passion that will help your calling, your passion to be of service to the world and make that your reality. Now, Jane Lee found her passions many years ago and was one of the first women in the world to give birth at home in a water birth pool and then went on to help bring water birth through NHS, educating thousands of midwives and providing pools for homes and hospitals. For many years, Jane Lee has been singing and when aged 24 was offered a recording contract as a solo artist. She also found her passion working with angels and to be of service offering and teaching angelic Reiki teaching her own angel healing practitioner diploma course and imparting the wisdom of the angels to those that seek guidance. Jane Lee has written for and has been featured in several national magazines, including Prediction, Spirit and Destiny, Soul and Spirit, Kindred Spirit, Take a Break, Fate and Fortune. And more recently, she's been working very much with the energy of Atlantis, which is very interesting in water. So without further ado, hello, Jane Lee, and welcome to the Angels of the History Show. How are you today? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. I had a special birthday yesterday. <laughs> I went out and I had a fantastic time. I went to see my friend Vicky Michelle in a play and had a couple of drinks with her afterwards. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's been... Um, a bit of a day but mm -hmm. yeah yeah I've, I've had a nice rest today but yes I'm I'm very happy thank you very much Ray for inviting me on this show you're welcome and, uh, I know that we know each other because you were attuned to angelic Reiki yeah. originally by me which was yeah. uh, lovely was many yeah. years yeah. ago Go on, I'm getting flashbacks of my <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's the good ones. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, then whether you're watching this live or it's recording, um, then please hit the like, love button. I just love it when hearts and thumbs appear across the screen. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then, then give it a thumbs up and describe so you can get updates on all recordings. You can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as both Jane Lee and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. We'll try to say hello to everyone who says hello and answer any questions or comments live or once the show is finished. So those I can see are watching, please feel free to type in hello and so we can acknowledge and see where you're from. So Jane Lee, why don't you tell us more about yourself and then how women can live their perfect life with passion? Yes, well, I have to say when I was 24 and I was offered a recording contract as a solo artist, um, I didn't have the confidence at the time to do that. It's not really a regret because I am singing now. And in fact, I'm singing next week um, in front of um, a live audience where I go regularly. They're actually called Whitmansworth Gateway and they're Down syndrome, mentally handicapped people. And I love doing that okay. because um, they really join in. It's not background music. Uh, they join in, we take instruments. So I'm really doing what my passion is there with a lovely musician um, that I get on very well with as well. We we, we really bring uh, fun to it all. Um, I then went on to work in the corporate world. As I say, I didn't take the recording contract. And I was working... Um, 
for Shell International for my sins, very unethical <laughs> company, of course, you know, at the time. Um, my parents were proud of me for working for such a, you know, uh, a good good in inverted commas company but of course now in retrospect um they are an uh, unethical company and it was literally um when i had my net my uh my nathan my baby nathan in a water birth pool um now going back a bit from that i've always been consciously on a spiritual path since the age of 17 and I found at the age of 18, I was naturally mediumistic, giving messages from spirit. But I always knew that I wanted to work with higher dimensional beings, not just proof of survival. Um, I mean, mediumship is absolutely wonderful. But for me, my interests were always... Um, maybe in the philosophy side of it and the spiritual yeah. side of things rather than the psychic and the medium side of things. And uh, my Nathan did come to me a year before I conceived him, just in broad daylight, said, Mummy, get your act together. I'm waiting <laughs> to be born to you. <laughs> yeah, literally, literally. So, um, which was very interesting. So I gave up alcohol and so did my husband and uh, tried to eat sensibly, um, went into a bit more spiritual practice just to try and on all levels um, get ready for him. And of course, look into the way he was born. Now, I was nearly 35 when I gave birth to Nathan. So I wanted to do the absolute safest possible thing, not just for him, for myself as well <laughs> and um when i looked into all the options and also uh, i know i've been guided all my life to meeting people the right people the right situation at the right time i met the most amazing midwife and i looked into water birth and i knew that a home water birth which actually is statistically safer especially for first babies uh, was the right thing for me and because I didn't want to take um, any drugs um, I thought to use a water birth pool would really help me but quite honestly I didn't realize that it would literally take all the pain away instantly the moment I got into the pool ah. which was quite miraculous um, and then the rest of the labor was comparatively easy now, I'm not saying, I mean, you're, anyone that's given birth will know why they call it labor. So, it, you know, it was no picnic, but um, it made it a lot easier for me. And it was lovely being in my own home. Um, and Nathan was born consciously without crying. Um, it was a beautiful experience. And I just wanted to share that with as many women as possible. So when I found out, amazingly, that I was one of the first people in the world to do this at home, you know, and it went all through the newspapers. Yeah. And uh, funnily enough, I was working for Shell at the time. <laughs> and uh, they put it in their Shell newspaper and they called it Splashdown yeah. for Nathan. And that's where I got the name. And I didn't realize it was going to go like international. Um, yeah. I thought it would be just, you know, something we'd do on the side. But I ended up um, working part time at Shell um, while setting up this the Splashdown Water Birth Services. And of course, it just really, really exploded yeah, from there. Yeah. However, um, as fate would have it, um, it was so successful that um, people came over from America. There was a young couple came over from America, saw what I was doing and literally copied everything I was doing. And even my website, even what I'd written and undercut me. And so it put me out of business. And but that was such a blessing in disguise because at that time, um, I mean, I'd always gone to the Mind, Body, Spirit mm. festivals from the very first moment, uh, you know, uh, they, they were on. 
And I was probably one of the first to buy some Doreen Virtue um, angel cards. And um, when I bought these cards, I realised that there was columns of light in front of me. And the angels would be giving me messages, their names and, uh, and what have you. So I realised I could work with angels as well as obviously just spirit. Yeah. Um, not saying just spirit. So no. Saying, but, you know, because spirit yeah. are very, very with. important. But yeah. um, and so I literally um, became one of the first people to work professionally with angels. Okay. Um, and I... Uh, created um, an angel healing practitioner diploma course. I was giving private consultations to people. I formed my own little group as well. We used to meet every week um, doing healing meditations and uh, maybe some angel cards. And um, yeah, private consultations with, with people uh, as well. But it, I have to say it wasn't until I was attuned to angelic Reiki that for me that was a huge boost mm. in my spiritual development. And, of course, for me that is the authentic way of working with angelic presences. Because... Um, I was already working professionally, and um, this is about 20 years ago that I started working professionally with angels. I was sent uh, a magazine called Paradigm Shift and asked if I wanted to advertise in it. In that magazine was an article by Kevin Kaur and uh, called Diagnosing the Light Fantastic, mm. and the angel image drew me in the leonardo da vinci image yeah. and i instantly phoned him uh obviously he was in north yorkshire i'm i'm in london um and he said i'll come up this weekend and be attuned i couldn't actually at that time because nathan was small and i couldn't really yeah. just leave him like that but um, in 2006, um, while working with the obstetrician whom, you know, we brought water birth through the NHS together, and she's a wonderful obstetrician called Dr. Gowrie Mota, and she does all different um, alternative uh, medicines and practices and, uh, and what have you. And uh, one of her ladies had been attuned to angelic Reiki and they were actually teaching, she was teaching with somebody else in London. So I was actually attuned then. And the people in my group instantly could see and feel the difference yeah. in the, the work that I was doing after that um with with the energy of it so um the rest is history with angelic reiki because i've now it's still probably the thing i'm most passionate about doing yeah. and teaching for sure and um i mean i've taught hundreds and hundreds of workshops now in the past 13 years it's something i do regularly and i love that um yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> excellent so whilst we've got a quick break um we've had a uh, uh, a lady um actually say hello so hi i'm arla hi arla thank you for um, tuning in i'm um, tuning in at this time about destiny as i would support my journey through de although dealing with challenges sending love all there is yep sending lots of loves to you ayla um thank you for watching hopefully you'll get something from from uh, from this show so um so you've obviously been working doing um and angelic craig for, for for quite a long time so so with so your passions are kind of like angelic craigy singing um and then obviously the pressure you know how do you know how did you kind of like take these passions to help you move forward to actually be able to support yourself uh, because I'm, I'm sure there's there's a few women that um uh, have you know 
they're thinking, oh, I really want to do this. I really want to do it. But oh, I'm not sure if I if I should be do it, doing that, you know, help. Yeah. OK. So for me, absolutely. I believe that every single person is here to do what they're passionate about. And I also believe that if we're doing what we're passionate about, it will provide us with a lifestyle that we can be comfortable with. Now, I'm going to state here and now, I'm not a multimillionaire on the outside, but on the inside, you know, I'm very happy with my lifestyle. Um, believe me, um, I know that with a lot of money, because you, it, because it gives you more responsibility or it can give you more responsibility as well. So I think you have to um, work out what kind of lifestyle you actually want. Um, I mean, some people can take a lot of pressure, but I mean, I'm somebody I like just an easy <laughs> life, you know. I, 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 you know, I, I really do. And, um, you know, I, I'm living the life of my dreams, I have to say, um, because I'm doing everything that I want and when I want to do it and the freedom. And I try and support as many people, and I have done for many years, trying to do what they are passionate about. Um, I um, th th One of the things that I teach is something called Archangel Michael's Abundance and Manifestation, where we work out, first of all, what your life purpose is. And I take people through um, a series of exercises. And even if they already know what they want to do the way we do it it also it brings up more information so that there's further clarification um and then i take them through a process where we um remove blocks we try to remove blocks with the help of archangel michael um and uh, do a dna cleanse a karma clearing um so that we're in a better position then to actually receive and bring in what it is that we would like in our lives. Um, I also teach um, a, a yogic breathing technique that helps you to manifest things quicker. And then another series of workshops where we, we can draw these things into our lives. It's just a, a day workshop, but it's very mm. powerful. Um, for me, I know a lot of people think, well, you know, I won't have any money if I lose, you know, if I leave my job. But you can always start small on the outside and create something. Um, you just have to put that initial energy into that. And of course, um, the universe will bring you what you are, are um, focusing on. So um, even if you think it's impossible and I'm never, ever going to have the life of my dreams, I'm never going to be able to do um, what I really want to do in life. Just taking a, a small step towards it, the universe will come and meet you and help mm. you. And of course, you can always help for ask for help from angelic presences, spirit guides and ancestors loved ones as well you know sometimes we don't uh, especially us guys that work with angels go guys and gals should gals, i say yeah I I, you're sorry sorry <laughs> everyone I mean, who works with angels i was i was 65 yesterday so please forgive me i'm, a, I'm, <laughs> you I'm don't an old lady it. i'm an old lady thank you yeah you you know um, old, old these days no, no, I'm not 80 old, plus but, 80 yeah. plus is old <laughs> Yeah. Well, my dad lived, my dad, Ben, lived till he was 93. And I always said to him in the words of Pete Townsend, I hope you die before you get old. <laughs> and he did because he was never old. Even at 93, he was a young man. Yeah, he was an amazing man. But we'll talk a bit more about him later. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, so... Um, I've lost my track now. <laughs> I've got such a butterfly in mind. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, and I've completely um, <laughs> lost it as well because you, because you started talking I about your dad and we talk about age. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the age thing. And, and yeah, so, so, yes, it's about helping people do what they want to do. Yes. I think if you just, um, you know, focus on that and have fun, I mean, hmm. really, people take life so seriously and for me, just have as much fun um, as, as possible. And I think that's so important because that is such an uplifting vibration that just brings in, it attracts um, energy, it attracts light. You know, it, the lighter you can be in yourself, you know, it attracts the light and, and it, it does um, um, project you forward in what you want to do. But I was fortunate in as much as, of course, I was very, I started off very passionately with the water birth, thinking, oh, my goodness, mm. you know, I can't be one of the first people. It helped me so much. I've got to do this. So I was really fueled to help people. I knew that it, it, it would work. And I was very good, uh, very lucky to have a good job at Shell that was paying me so I could actually set this up um, on on the side mm. and then when it started to really take off a bit i then worked part-time for shell and then it got to a stage where it was taken off so much then i i left shell completely so i was i have to admit i was very fortunate but what i'm going to say to people is um yeah i'm going to talk about ben now if that's mm. okay yeah yes, it built on my dad do which is my dad, but um, it's also something called, it. Ben stands for Business Ethics Network. And it's something that I'm setting up with somebody called Diana uh, Orgill, who is a master teacher as well. And the reason that we got the idea to set this up was because when training people for angelic reiki a lot of people take the professional practitioner course and the master teacher workshop as well and yet they don't go into professional practice afterwards and create a successful business so there seemed to be a gap between the end of the training and the beginning of a successful business and uh, something that was being formed called The Bridge to help these people. And of course, a lot of the workshops that I do naturally will help people with, with this. Um, and uh, I invited Diana Orgill, who I was supporting in her teaching, um, to come to one of my professional practitioner workshops. And she was talking about getting funding and how she got funding to actually train with me. And she obviously was filling the gap that I hadn't had. Mm. You know, I've got the experience of teaching, and but she had the experience of knowing what it's like to live, um, you know, in a community where there's a lot of people that need a lot of help. Um, and you know, not really having the funds, the mm. finances in order to do that. And um, so she knows everything to do with funding. We're going to set this thing up called uh, called Ben. I've, the, the name came to me. Um, and, of course, it's my dad's initials, yeah. uh, Business Ethics Network. Um, we're getting the help of um, NatWest Bank as well. Yeah. Yeah, because um, NatWest Bank all over the country um, give free uh, workshops for business startup. So we're going to, uh, you know, create Ben in association with um, the NatWest Bank, who I've been in liaison with. And what the reason we're setting this up is to absolutely support people live the life of their dreams with passion the name okay. of our workshop absolutely um because there's so many people out there um 
I met a close friend recently who's been stuck in a job that she hates and just to see her so depressed really really upset me and um obviously she's not the only one there's a lot of people out there who think they've got to just be in a nine to five or boring job just for the money and working just for the money with people they don't particularly resonate with and I don't believe that life should be like that. I honestly believe everyone should be here to do exactly what yeah. we're meant to be doing, what we're passionate about, and, you know, to create a world and help others to do the same. And um, as I say, it's not always about the having all the finances no. i mean that helps don't get me wrong of yes course it helps but as far as i'm concerned um i'm you know i've had some really really happy times in my life when i've not been earning that much money um and success for me means having a really nice lifestyle having the freedom being able to do what you want to do when you want to do it with who you want to do, do it with, you know, kind of yeah. thing. And, um, you know, uh, I mean, and now the other thing that I'm so passionate about is um, traveling. And I go to these beautiful places, my favorite places around the world, and I take people there on retreat holidays. I mean, it's amazing. So I also sort of get the idea to fuse everything I'm passionate about mm. together so um i love teaching and when i take them on these holidays i show them these beautiful islands and i'm also giving them um either an angelic reiki class uh workshop or teaching them some um angel healing practitioner diploma workshops uh, you know yeah um, that i do so which is such fun but getting back to ben yeah um, sorry, <laughs> no, that's <don't>. okay. <laughs> um, we're getting funding for people to come and do the, the work with us so that they will be funded, uh, you know, to do that. So if people are in a, you know, a job already, um, or if they're not earning that much, or if they, even if they're unemployed, mm. we're also going to be working with a recruitment agency that will find people work as well and that might not be the job of their dreams yeah while they're working on the job of their dreams so um there's a lot of things coming together at the moment on this which is really very very exciting yeah it'll, 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 be, it'll be interesting once it's all sort of like amalgamated and and, and 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 actually actually working out. And you mentioned about all the the travels you do and and you run retreats and that. And I know you've been in Malta quite a lot recently, haven't you? I have. But sorry, can I just flash yeah. back to, to to what I've just said? Because okay, this, and I think this is really important. Yes. What I want to do with Ben is not just for people who want to be healers um, and or do a spiritual. Uh, work in the spiritual although of course they are absolutely that's how we started off but it's going to be for anybody who wants to work from a highly ethical place um whether i mean I, i've got a friend he calls himself mr fix it and he's a handyman but he comes from the absolute highest of ethics of spiritual ethics um, we won't necessarily be teaching those spiritual ethics, no. but it's it's for anybody, electrician, plumber, you know, uh, down to, to people who want to make cakes, open their own tea shop, or, you know, or, or, or of course, you know, angelic Reiki or, or any kind of um, spiritual uh, work, of course. Um, and will that be from, from anywhere um, in the country or the world or will that any anywhere anywhere i don't know about the world I haven't got that far yet why not <laughs> yeah yeah why not invite why me not? over wherever you are as long as it's somewhere nice <laughs> <laughs> and, and sunny in the winter <laughs> preferably um but anywhere in the country because natwest are doing these workshops all over the country and it will tie in with what we're doing as well 
So, um, yes, this is going to be available just to anybody who wants to, you know, to do what they're here to do, Brilliant. basically. And if you don't know what you're here to do, then we can help you discover what that is too. So, sorry. I'm not no, 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 that, 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 that's fine. That, that's an important bit to, it, to get yeah. in, that, that, that yeah. you know, that it doesn't matter where you are in the country, you'll be able to tap into any help or guidance um, with, with, with regards to it. So... Shall we go back to Malta? Yeah, this gets a bit woo-woo. <laughs> <laughs> this gets a bit woo-woo. But you so, see, Miss, that's um, nice because you have a balance of the practical and the spiritual. Yeah, what, no, I, I, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm very down to earth. And it, it took a bit of convincing uh, of, of proof for me, um, yeah, when, when mm. I was 17, um, yeah, yeah. When I was 17, I wanted to believe in life after death because I knew love couldn't die. And actually, my great-grandmother, who I really loved, actually manifested in front of me. It frightened the life out of me. But yeah, I, I got my you. proof. I got my proof. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah so I am so, um, very so tell pragmatic. Us, so tell us about Walter. Well, um, now I'm just going to say this. I've got an article that's coming out in Kindred Spirit uh, it's, that comes out tomorrow. Okay. And um, if people want me to send them, I'm sorry, Kindred Spirit, you're, please don't listen to this. But <laughs> if, anybody, if anybody wants me to send them a copy of this article, just email me and I can email you a copy of the article. Um, or, of course, you can go and buy Kindred Spirit if you want to tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's um entitled i think it's entitled my visit to atlantis um oh i mean where do i start with this <laughs> um see i absolutely love places on the earth that are really aesthetically beautiful like um Menorca, the Azores, and uh, but Malta kept calling me back, and and, and Gozo as well, and um, I kept being invited to Gozo by a friend of mine who, who's got a house out there. He's actually half Gozitan and half Maltese, and I just got to know this person through the music scene, mm. um, and. Um, oh, when I was out there, I also um, befriended um, a Roman Catholic priest, which was quite funny, actually, because I'm not into religion at no. all. Not one jot, not one bit. And even if I was, <laughs> <laughs> it would not be Catholic religion. Um, but... Um, there was, I bought a picture of Mother Mary from him for my altar, and there was this resonance uh, between us. I, I didn't quite know uh, what it was at the time. And um, suffice to go to say, because I could make this a very long story, which I won't, um, I absolutely knew that he was um, had Lemurian energy and also that he had been a priest in Atlantis. I never said this to him no. because, you know, how could I? And I always thought, well, I know much more than you about all these things. <laughs> Little did I know. And um, we found actually... Um, yeah, actually, this is an interesting story, so I, I will mention this. Um, I hope we've got time. But um, we got time. I was told when I was out there um, by somebody, again, who I met by chance, if ever you're in a place called Arb, then go to the Lotus Center because they'd be interested in what you're doing. So... Um, it just so happened I was invited out there actually by the priest. He said, come um, for Easter one year. And it just so happened my birthday fell on Easter Sunday. So I went out there. And um, 
on Good Friday, which is actually the day I was born. I was born on a Good Friday. Um, we were driving through the island, which is tiny anyway, and we were going to see the flowers in the church, different churches there. And on the way to a certain church, I saw Lotus Center open. And I said, oh, we've got to stop here because I was told, you know, to, to, to visit if ever I'm in the area. So I went in, introduced myself. I said, oh, hello, I'm Janie Miller from London and I work professionally with angels. There was two ladies there and one said to me, I've got a book in my hand here about angels. We were just looking up about angels. So I said, oh, what a coincidence. Yeah. And the other one said, yes, I was woken up at three o'clock this morning, given a message, we must put on a workshop on Monday evening, a talk about angels. I said, oh, that's fantastic. And they said, yeah, but we have a problem. We don't know anything about angels. We've got no one to give the talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Exactly. Exactly. Talk about being, well, I've been very, very fortunate being in the right place at the right time many a time. So, um, yeah, I said, well, you know, now you have. And over the weekend, they were able to get 18 people there. And I told them my, my history. I didn't say too much. Um, but I did say, you know, that I had been involved in water birth. And they said that um, there is a Punic temple near to them that they would like to take me to. And the priest was with me and they were just amazed that a Roman Catholic priest entered the, that place yeah. because they, they don't usually go into these places. And the priest said, can I come too? They said, yes. As it so happened, he didn't go um, at that particular time, which was just as well, because, and going back a bit from this, I'd always known that I'd been in Atlantis. I'd always known that I was there to the, the very end. And it was very, very traumatic. But I didn't know anything more than that. However, um, oh gosh, uh, decades ago is all I can say. Uh, 25 years, more, more than that. Uh, about, yeah, more than 25 years. A but, long time ago. Uh, yeah, a long time ago. I met somebody called Patty Greenberg. Um, I was introduced to her. And um, she invited me round to have a look at her pictures because she's an, uh, an artist. That's right, yeah. And um, she's like what they call a psychic artist, a spiritual artist. Mm. And um, as, as she showed me all her pictures, some are of places and some are of people, there's one picture and I went, oh, my goodness, I know him. I know this man. I work with this man in Atlantis. I know him. And she said, well, that could well be because this man was the Supreme Crystal Master at the downfall of Atlantis. And you can actually talk to him through a medium called Ivy Smith. So I went to see Ivy. And I didn't say anything to her about this. But um, in trance, she's a trance medium. And the master came through and the first thing he said to me was it's very apt that you are here because we know each other from Atlantis and we used to work together and I said yeah I know and he said do you know who you were I said I haven't got a clue that's all I know it's just a knowledge I can't tell you anything more and he told me that I had been a high priestess I have worked with him in the crystal healing temples and I had been there to the bitter end and I nearly drowned several times, but I was taken um, uh, um, to uh, Egypt. I was rescued by one of the boats and was taken to Egypt. That's all I knew. So I was also told that um, 
where we were, where the crystal healing temples were and where the crystal master was, was right in the very center of Atlantis. Well, that's all I knew. And even when I met Diana Cooper, I said, Diana, I am not reading your book about Atlantis because I know I've got to experience something myself mm. and I don't want to be influenced by anything else. And what happened was um, when I went to this Punic temple, um, bearing in mind, I had no idea. I mean, I knew Atlantis was a huge, huge yeah. place. So I had no idea where the center of it was or anything else. And when I'm standing there uh, and meditating at this temple, all of a sudden I feel all the ground go beneath me. And I'm thinking, what is going on? Uh -oh. And I was with somebody that I really did resonate with. And I said to her, I said, Caroline, I said, all this here was land. She said, yes. And then I realized it was Atlantis. And then I confided in her. I said, look, you know, the same as what I've just confided mm. here. You know, uh, I was rescued by boat and, and taken to Egypt. And she just said, oh, well, she said, Egypt's just a boat ride across there. And I went, oh, my goodness. And I just realized that, obviously, that was yeah. where I was meant to be. And then I took the um, the priest there. He wanted to go. I wasn't going to put this on to him because hmm. I thought, you know, he's got to come of his own accord. Yeah. And when the priest got there, because I picked up certain things <laughs> Um, that we'd done there and what have you. But mm. when he got there, it was just, he just absolutely, he went back in time. He could even hear the drumming. He knew exactly what was going on. He could not have made this up. It, you know, yeah. he knew exactly what was going on. And I just found that very, very uh, interesting. Um, and he has said to me, because, um, with all due respect, you know, I don't have much respect for um, priests, Roman Catholic mm. priests, um, but he is hospital chaplain out there on a very small island and he's working with the sick, the dying, mm. the bereaved. And so I have every respect for him for that. And um, he's a few years younger than me and he doesn't retire um for another few years but that's exactly as it's meant to be because he yeah. said the work we have to do will be in a few years time when i've retired and i know that's the time when humanity will be ready mm. for whatever it is we have yeah. to do because in the meantime i uh, read a book from the lotus center um called islands of dream by somebody called Francis Aloisio. It literally put um, the context of all my spiritual experiences, of which have been quite, uh, some of them have been quite amazing. For example, I literally had the goddess Isis manifest in front of me in her full glory when I was 20 years of age. It just freaked the life out of me, yeah. to be honest. Um, uh, but she said, do not be afraid of me. Look me straight in the eye. You're working with me. Um, also, um, visitation by uh, beings from Sirius as well, saying, you know, we're helping your planet. And I'm thinking, why, why is this all happening? You know, what, what's going on here? So, you know, all the experiences I've had um, and this Atlantis, it all came together by reading these books and actually um i was very honored that he actually came over and met me in my hotel the the author of the book and um what also happened him and his wife had discovered um he's atlantean very atlantean and she's very lemurian and um they had discovered in malta a portal where you could actually enter etherically 
um, the crystal city of Atlantis. And I mean, Isis has just told me she was just completely guiding me um, yeah. the, the whole way to the extent that um, when I first met Francis, the first thing I said to him was, where's these 12 crystals that need activating? I didn't even know what I was talking about. And he knew exactly what I was talking about. And he told me exactly where to go. Now, the, um, the amazing thing was, he said, you have to go to Camino first to get the key. Well, as it so happened, I had I was only there for two more days and I had arranged to go to Camino the following day. <laughs> and then um, I, I went with uh, the, the priest, who I believe is twin flame energy. Or, yeah. Um, uh, uh, to, we went to where you know, to help activate these crystals as well in, in the place. He actually had a free day, a day off work. And I, I, I was, I had a day's rest. I, so I yeah. thought or flying off. So that it, it just all came together. And I just said, Oh, come on, you're just guided. Just, just go. And the amazing thing about the portal was I went over for this conference and I thought I'm doing nothing, nothing. I'm just going to have a holiday, just go for the conference and go to the, the portal. Yeah. The, Crystal City, and that's it. But I really did enjoy my little trip around um, the island the, the, on a boat trip when we went to Camino. And so I'm going to just do that as well. And I, the only day I could do it was the day before the conference. And when I was on the boat trip, I thought, I'm not going to take any photos because I did all my photos on the last yeah. trip done it before i'm just going to chill out relax something made me go to the front of the boat during the trip i mean bearing in mind we went around the whole of the island mm. and uh, camino as well something made me go to the front of the boat and just take a photo that was the exact place of the portal <laughs> ah. <laughs> and when when we actually went to the portal and then i showed um francis and christine um this picture they said how on earth did you get there and i said well the boat took me there she said well the boats don't go there we had to actually commission a boat to take us especially there and bearing in mind i didn't even know that it was there yeah um so yeah, these things just clarify you know mm. just validation for me but um of course, the experience once you're there, that, that is the sea part of the portal, but you can get to it on land as well. You can get to it on land. And it's it's just an incredible experience because um, the future is there. The, the past, the present, the future is, is there for mankind. And the incredible thing is it's going to be an ongoing thing. They're going to um, share all their knowledge and wisdom with us. M mankind's ready now for this time. Yeah. And the right people will go. The right people who are meant to go there will go and they yeah. will be able to etherically enter the portal and visit, see what's there um, and communicate with the beings there. Uh, and anyone who isn't ready, it's just a pretty place to go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So it's a win-win situation, which we, we, whichever you, whichever you do. Uh, so so yeah. it's so 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 yeah. Um, read read the article, although um, you have probably got most of it uh, from from Jay Lee today. So you've got it live. Probably a lot more. <laughs> than reading it, but but yeah, there there'd be a lot more. So go out and uh, and uh, either buy the magazine or contact Jane Lee and get a copy of the. Of it sent to you. Now, as people know, I normally do guided meditation, Sandra card reading um, each week. Um, but Jane Lee has very kindly offered to do it. It's only about five, 10 minutes, but a very um, uh, sort of like meditation to help us uh, find our passion or get more passionate. Um, create it. Yeah. Bring it, create into real, bring it into being, manifest it. Yeah. yeah. So, Janie, I'll hand over to you. 
okay before i do this i'm just going to say if anybody's interested in visiting the portal do get in touch with me as well because you know obviously we need the right people yes and especially people that are working with sound it seems that there's something happening mm. there with sound Sounds but healing, I, yeah. I will i will get on with my with the meditation then. <laughs> okay so um just to to start with i'm just going to ask everybody just to um rub their hands together and rub their feet on the floor it hopefully you haven't got shoes on if you have don't don't worry don't, it, it, just use your hands and just do that for a moment or two and this is just absolutely to make a connection or to consciously make a connection should i say with your physical body because when we manifest we want it manifest in 3 D in third dimension. So then place your hands on your lap and just feel that lovely tingly feeling in your hands, in your feet, and just allow your breath to deepen. Just take some deep breaths. And if any thoughts come up, just bless them and let them go. Just concentrating on that tingly feeling, because this will bring your consciousness or part of your consciousness into third dimension, which is exactly where we want to manifest. And just relax into the chair that you're sitting on keep taking some deep breaths and i'm just going to ask you to visualize the life of your dreams now you may have a very good idea of what that may be or you may not have a clue, but on some level, you know what that is like. In truth, there is no such thing as time and space. We're all multidimensional beings and all time and space is actually here and now. And on some level, you know what it feels like to be living the life of your dreams. And we're going to ask the angels to help us, the ascended masters, our ancestors. And I always, always ask for the protection of Archangel Mikhail, Archangel Michael. So just Breathe these energies in and just allow them to fill you with beautiful light. And as this feeling deepens and you become more relaxed, I just want you to feel on all levels what it's like to be living the life of your dreams now. Because now is all that exists. So just feel this feeling. Where are you? Even if you don't know, on some level you will know. What are you seeing? What colours are around you? What are you hearing? What are the sounds? 
Is it birds singing? Is it music? Is it people's voices? What are you smelling? What perfumes are around you? What are you tasting? What textures are you feeling? Just breathe this all in. Know that this is the life of your dreams. This is the life you deserve. I have abundance on all levels. And I give thanks for this. And really breathe this in. Take it in from the very top of your head, right down to the tips of your toes. And I'm going to ask Archangel Mikhail to anchor this into your physical body in this incarnation now. And we give thanks for this. And we give thanks for all the angels, ascended masters and loved ones who have been helping us. And we ask that an appropriate team of guides, beings, surround us to help us to bring this now into manifestation on our planet Earth. Thank you. And... When you're ready, just open your eyes. Oh, that was wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, so everyone, just allow yourselves to come back. And if you want to share your experiences, then then you, uh, please feel you're more than welcome to actually do that um, here. So thank you, Jane Lee. That was absolutely wonderful. Oh, and I was like... You. And I love the rubbing of the hands together and getting the tingling to really get a sense of, um, you know, being here in the present. Yeah, because even when, I mean, all my work is to do with ascension. And even when we're um, seventh, uh, you know, and beyond, you know, fifth dimension and beyond in our consciousness, um, we're still going to be manifesting on third dimension. So we need to be connected. We're here yes. in our bodies for a reason. It's so, so important. Um, I mean, I could go on forever, but yeah, um, yeah. we've been doing uh, ancestral yeah. stuff and to, to come into the core, it's, it's really yeah. important. Yeah. So before we wrap up, um, do you have any last insights or thoughts to leave our viewers? Um. I'm just going to say to everybody, please just know that you're absolutely guided. You're here for a reason, um, and that is to live the life of your dreams. We are all here. We're living in a time now where anything is possible, and the earth is changing so much. We haven't seen anything yet. Um, believe me, having gone to that crystal city of Atlantis, met the beings there, we, humanity is not ready yet mm. uh, for a lot of the information that's coming through. And so please, no matter how amazing or how outrageous you think your uh, destiny is, go with it. 
because we are all here for a reason and we have to be in our physical body. That's why I do this. We have yeah. to be in our physical body in order to bring this through. And I, I categorically state, as I do to everybody who comes to my workshops, there will be peace on earth. In, in there, it, We will have that. Um, might not have it for a long while yet, but it, it's coming. Absolutely. It, it is, you know, and from doing the future life progression that I do where we've gone into the future, yeah, there are, I have no worries about what's happening in the world at the moment because I've seen yes. what, what the future is like and it's, we, we, it is beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. I've, I've never worried about what's going on. It has to be. We have mm. to just live with it. And it's just something that's happening until we're, you know, the, the, the peace is here. And I've always known I will see the true seeds of peace on earth, on this planet, before I leave it um and and i'm 65 now so how much <laughs> <laughs> you know so it's not you, as if i'm 20 or anything no but you've got good genes you know think about it, your dad you've got good genes so you know you've got another He's 30 amazing. odd years to go oh okay <laughs> <laughs> so everyone i hope you've enjoyed this and found it insightful and the words of wisdom jane lee has given you will help you further on your journey so jane lee if people want to connect with you how do they do that um, my website is healingangels.co.uk. That's H E A L I N G A N G E L S.co.uk. Um, people can email me at info at healingangels.co.uk or um, I'm I'm on um facebook Book. although i don't do, do much on that but <laughs> it, it, J jane lee miller three separate words j a y n new word l e e new word m i w -L, l e r or if you want to call me uh my number is 07 that's 07 nine two five one two seven two 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 and um if you want to go on my emailing list for my events because i hold regular events i'm doing a unicorn workshop on friday good friday with the full moon because we've got loads why of not coming through we love uh, unicorns yeah um at, uh, I do regular DNA cleanses. Um, if you want to be on my email list, just email me, as I say, info at Healing Angels, and I'll add you to my um, emailing list as well. So you're in touch with all my events, including my retreat holidays. Yeah. <laughs> and and what, I, what I'll do is I'll um, put all those details in the comments box with the links so people can just click on um, and, and go into them. So thank you so much for watching and I would like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. Now, amen. If you, yeah, oh, oh man, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, anyone, anyone, anyone can, anyone, anyone can do it. So if you need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you reach out and connect with me so we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute session by Skype or Messenger to find out more about each other and how I can help you take charge of your destiny. And by the way, I will see you next Wednesday, the 24th of April at 8 p.m. with a guided meditation that I recorded in Glastonbury where you'll have a chance to connect with your dragon. Because <gasps> oh! not only have we got unicorns, we've got dragons coming yes, in as well. Yes, I think we'll be doing that as well soon, yeah. Yes, yes, the dragon energy is really coming in. So, so get to, yeah. so come and get to know your your dragon. It's absolutely, um, absolutely brilliant, and you'll be able to work with them because they're here on par with us. So, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. And Jane Lee, again, thank you so much. Thank um, you. God bless you this. all. Love to everybody, and thank you for listening, everybody. It's it's been wonderful. Thank you. And if you are watching this on the replay, just type in hashtag replay. Um, so thank you all very much. And I will see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>